In this video, I have more information to share about the engineering test runs of 4680 battery cells uh, that are coming off the lines at Tesla's pilot facility in Fremont. And I wanna talk about how this is related to the development of the second generation 4680 battery cells that I previously mentioned. So without further ado, let's dive in. I'm John and welcome to Cleaner Watt. It's important that I once again point out that the information that I'm going to share in this video comes from one or more sources, which will remain nameless. And uh, while the information that was shared with me appears to be very credible, I have not been able to personally verify everything that I'm going to talk about. This video does not constitute financial advice and please use your own discretion and verify the information for yourself before you take any actions based on this information. In a recent video when discussing Tesla's 4680 battery manufacturing progress, I mentioned that almost every day at Tesla's pilot facility, they switch over to special engineering runs of test 4680 battery cells that are then sent from the Roadrunner facility to another separate secret facility for rigorous testing purposes. I now have quite a bit more information about what actually happens during this engineering time, and I think it's relevant that I talk about this for a few minutes. Now, just to paint a quick picture of Tesla's pilot battery facility in Fremont, um, this facility is obviously where Tesla is developing new iterations of battery cells. Um, but at the same time, they are using this battery factory to produce actual usable cells that are making their way into the standard range all wheel drive Model Y and potentially other test vehicles and vehicles in the future. This battery facility does actually have two separate lines. The one main line is what is called the Roadrunner battery line. That's the one that everyone talks about, but they also have a much smaller, lower volume line that they're calling their Swift battery line. And that's primarily used for iterations of the second or next generation 4680 battery cells that Tesla is developing. This facility operates 24 hours a day and almost every day Tesla schedules what they call engineering time and this engineering time usually lasts between three and four hours. Do note that any of the 4680 battery cells that are produced during this engineering time are not counted with the regular production numbers and thus do not count towards the regular production metrics of this factory. This obviously limits a little bit the actual production numbers of regular 4680 production that are coming out of this factory, but this engineering time is a necessity when it comes to battery development. And really this is the purpose of a pilot line, not to highly mass produce 4680 battery cells, but instead to further prove out and optimize the processes that they're going to implement at their other factories like Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. Generally speaking, these test runs are quite short, say for like 50 battery cells or so. Um, but occasionally they do longer runs of say like 100 to 200 battery cells. And a number of times, which was estimated to be around 20, these engineering test runs have been much larger, say somewhere around 1000 battery cells at a time. Normally when regular 4680 battery production is happening, uh, the jelly roll assembly happens on the first floor of the factory. And then an escalator takes those jelly rolls and transports them up to the second floor where they're inserted into the battery cans and so on. However, when it comes to the majority of these test runs that happen during engineering time, say somewhere around 90% of the time, the production team is required to manually cart the jelly rolls over to the second much smaller Swift line for completion whereas where the next generation 4680 battery cells are being developed. Now, what does Tesla do with the test 4680 battery cells that come off the production lines? I was told that these battery cells are generally transported to a separate facility to be analyzed and tested, which of course is expected. And we know that Jeff Don and his team at Dalhousie University in Canada have a research contract with Tesla and that they do a lot of battery cell testing for Tesla, so very likely a number of these test cells get sent over to his facility to be tested. However, I was also made aware of a separate secret test facility that Tesla runs that is much closer than Dalhousie University. This is of course really important and can further shorten the feedback loop from iteration to tweaking as they are able to test quicker and get the battery cells over to this facility quicker than sending them all the way over to Dalhousie University. Obviously they do both it seems like, but they can do some of this testing in their own facility apparently. I was told the address of this facility, but I've chosen not to actually share that with the general public because 
it's obvious that Tesla doesn't want this address to be public. So for now, I'm going to keep this to myself. Now, I do want to be clear that I'm not aware of the full extent of what happens at the secret facility, but I believe it's logical to conclude that very likely this facility is equipped with similar test equipment to what Jeff and his research team have at their facility. Is Tesla doing more than just testing 4680 battery cells at this facility? Well, this is definitely a possibility, but I can't confirm anything at the moment, but I will be keeping my ears and eyes open, and hopefully I'll have more information to share in the future. Now, beyond just the lab testing of these 4680 battery cells, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes these engineering test runs are for much larger runs of say somewhere around 1000 battery cells, which would be enough to equip a test Model Y, which has roughly 828 individual 4680 battery cells for the current standard range all wheel drive pack. And so because of this, I think there's a very strong possibility that Tesla has several engineering Model Ys equipped with these second generation 4680 battery cells that are currently undergoing testing. After all, it's one thing to test these battery cells in a lab, but it's way more important to actually have real time testing of these 4680 battery cells in an example of their intended use. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. And also if you work in the battery industry or you have any insights or information to share with me, feel free to email me. My email address is john, J-O-N, at cleanerwatt.com. Again, john, J-O-N, at cleanerwatt. Dot com. Also, I wanted to mention that if you want to be notified when I put out new videos like this one, make sure that you're subscribed and that you click that bell icon so YouTube can notify you when new videos come out. I also wanted to say a special thank you to the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make these videos possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up and how you can support my work, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.